Before we get into the news, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with our news stories. Thank you. Is that an official Inyo County election ballot drop box in Lone Pine in front of Statham Hall? Why do you ask? Well, there were concerns expressed by some people in Lone Pine on social media about the drop box sitting outside of Statham Town Hall and whether or not it was actually an official one placed there by the county. It is official, says Inyo County's Registrar of Voters, Tammy Foote. It is a valid concern. The California Republican Party, also known as the GOP, or Grand Old Party, has been placing unofficial ballot drop boxes around the state, largely in hotly contested congressional districts. The GOP is now refusing to say how many or where the drop boxes have been placed or even commit to removing them. Harvesting ballots is legal under California election laws, but the state's top elections and law enforcement officials have said that these boxes are illegal and threaten the security of the election. They want them removed. With the state attorney general, Xavier Becerra, a Democrat, saying that the GOP could face criminal prosecution. California laws on ballot harvesting state that California voters can legally designate any person to return their ballot to election officials from whom it came or to the precinct board at the polling place within a jurisdiction. The question is, do the unofficial ballot drop-off boxes meet that standard and intent? Most likely, a court will have to decide. Some of the GOP party's ballot drop boxes are labeled as official, even though they're not authorized by county election officials. The GOP is saying that it will remove any signage that claims official status to avoid confusion with those used by county registrars. But the party is threatening to deploy even more of the boxes, which they claim is legal under California election laws. The problem with private ballot drop-off boxes is simple. What's to stop any party, whether Democratic or Republican, from harvesting and then selectively turning in ballots at their candidates or causes? State election authorities and county registrars are urging voters to avoid the GOP boxes, saying they aren't secure, and to instead send ballots by mail or place them in official boxes that have their county logos displayed on them. If in doubt, they encourage voters to call them. Cami Foote, Inyo County's Registrar of Voters, says that the drop-off ballot box in front of Statham Town Hall in Lone Pine is an official county drop box and that they collect the ballots on an almost daily schedule. She advises voters to always look to trusted sources for accurate information. Cami Foote would also like to remind people that the voter registration deadline to vote in the November 3rd presidential general election is Monday, October 19th. This is the last day to register and receive a mailed ballot which provides voters the choice to vote by mail, drop off the ballot in a drop box, or drop off at a polling center or vote in person on election day. Paper registration forms are available at the elections office in Independence and all Inyo County post offices. Online registration is also available at registertovote.com ca.gov. Registration after October 19th is only available in person at the elections office in Independence with both registration and casting a vote required on the same day. For voter registration efficiency and flexibility, it's recommended to register by the October 19th deadline. 
Anyone who has recently moved is encouraged to check their registered mailing address at voterstatus.sos.ca.gov. No one in Inyo County will have to choose between their health and exercising their right to vote, said Cami Foote. It's important to all Inyo County residents and citizens to understand the facts of how and when you can vote in the November 3rd election and to make a plan. If you have any questions regarding voting this year, you're encouraged to contact the Inyo County Elections Office at 760-878. 0224 or send an email to kfoot that's k f o o t e at inyocounty.us thank you for watching our video please don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell so you know when we post a new story thank you and have a good day